Okay, so hey guys, um, in this video, we're going to be creating our menu or navigation bar. Um, so as you can see, we've where we left off last time, we've already created our GUI itself. So now what we need to do, we need to attach a menu bar to that. Now, what I could do, I could easily create another class inside this main file, wordsmith.py, but I don't want to do so. I want to create a separation of concerns. So I'm going to create another separate file and I'm going to import from that. Now, the reason why I'll do that is one, is because it's good practice, and two, it's also easier to find things. So I know that if I'm looking for like a menu or anything to do with the, um, the views, or like the user interface, I know it's going to be in this particular file so I can find it. So what I'm going to do, we're going to go into the file, we're going to right click new Python file. We're going to call it views. Okay. So now in this views file, we're going to import tkinter as tk. And just preempting for we're going to need in later tutorials, we're also going to print and we're also going to import these um other um other um class other sorry these other functions so from tkinter import file dialog message box and ttk these other classes okay so now the reason why i have to do this from tkinter even though i'm importing from tkinter as tk already here is sometimes these don't get captured. So it's going to cause like, it's going to raise errors. So doing this will um, prevent that from happening. Okay, so we're in views.py. So views is essentially anything to do with the user interface is going to be inside views. And later on, we're going to create the um, controller. But as the view stand is anything that's going to update the user interface or change the user interface is going to be in this views.py file. And that's only the concern of the view, those type of actions. So we're going to create our menu now. So to do so, we're going to create a class and we're going to call this class navbar, short for navigation bar. And this class is going to inherit from tk.menu. So as mentioned before, we're going to have access to all of the um, all of the attributes and methods of the tk.menu class. Okay, so now we're going to create initialize our class. So def underscore underscore init underscore underscore self. And then we're also going to have a, uh, a um, parameter called parent. So as you know, because we're um, inheriting from the tk.menu class, every widget has a parent um, or a master. And so that's what we're going to be inheriting here. So then we have, we've done that. And then we need to do the um, constructor for the superclass, which in this case is tk.menu. So super dot underscore underscore init underscore underscore parents. Because as I mentioned, every, um, every tkinter widget has a parent. So the parent that I pass into this navigation bar will also be the parent for this tk.menu that we're inheriting from. Okay, so now what we're going to do, we're going to create a file menu. So hashtag file for a comment. And then menu underscore file is equal to tk dot menu self tier off equals zero. And then what we're going to do, we're going to add a cascade self add underscore cascade label is going to be equal to file this is the label of um the of this menu so as you can see a cascade would be like here file edit view navigate code refactor etc okay and the menu for this is going to be menu underscore file so this object here this menu file so menu equals menu underscore file okay so now this menu um, underscore file we can add commands to them so menu underscore file 
dot add underscore command. The label of this one is going to be called how to use WordSmith. And the command, we're going to leave that for now. So we're not going to have a command. So let's just set a reminder to do command. So we need to do the command for this menu underscore file dot add command label equals disclaimer. Then again, another to do. So to do command. Okay. And then what we're going to do, we're going to add a separator. So menu underscore file dot add underscore separator. And then we're going to have menu underscore file dot add underscore command. And this label is equal to exit. I'm actually going to create a command for this. And the command is going to equal parent dot quit. So whatever the parent um, widget is for this navigation bar, it's going to invoke the quit um, method for it. And it's going to quit. Or it should quit the parent. OK, so this is our navigation bar pretty much set up, apart from the commands that we need to initialize. Um, so just, just a quick run through. So menu file, this is the object. Self to add cascade. So for this menu file, the label we're going to add, sorry, for this navigation bar, we're going to add the label called file. And the menu related to that is this object here, menu file. So this here will be our navigation bar, for example. What you see, the cascade is going to be file. And the menu file is going to be all the options below. So now a command is going to be each of these. So this is a command, like new project, new, new scratch file, etc. And the command is when you click on it, an event will take place. Separators are the line, like underneath here, between rename project and settings. That's a separator. And yeah, that's more or less it. So now if we go back to wordsmith.py, we're going to basically link that menu to um, our folder here. So now what we can do is from views, Import nav bar. Then what we're going to do here is within our application, we're going to go within our constructor and we're going to just make a comment menu of the application. Okay, so now our menu bar is equal to nav bar self so self is the parent so parent basically equals self so now this is effectively the same as saying tk dot menu self but we're inheriting from it so we already inherit that attribute within the navbar class so by saying navbar parent equals self self is this instance of this application so that's basically tying this navigation bar to this application, our application. And then what we need to do, we need to actually um, change the configuration um, to make this happen. So self dot config and menu equals menu bar. So remember self is the root window. So or the, the root of the GUI. So self has a config attribute. And basically what we're saying is the menu of our application is going to be equal to menu bar, which is um, nav bar. OK, and we pass the instance to that. So then we have access to, um, so that it knows what the parent um, attribute is. The parent, sorry, the parent parameter is. So that links the two together. OK, so now if there's no mistakes, this should all work. So let's run our application, right click, run WordSmith. And here's our file. So here's our file. Um, these are our commands. There's our separator. And if we click on it, this should exit. 
and it does. So perfect. So that's our menu bar for now. So next, what I'm going to do in the next video, I'm going to create the um, how to use and the disclaimer windows. So they should open new windows um, when they're clicked. And yeah, I'll show you how to do that in the next video. So that's all for this video. Thank you for watching.